Question 26. Tina inherits $60,000 and invested in an account earning interest at a rate of 0.5% per month. Each month, immediately after the interest has been paid, Tina withdraws $800. The amount in the account immediately after the nth withdrawal can be determined using the recurrence relation AN equals AN minus 1 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800, where N equals 1, 2, 3 and so on, and A0 equals 60,000. Part A. Use the recurrence relation to find the amount of money in the account immediately after the third withdrawal. Using the recurrence relation, the amount of money in the account immediately after the first withdrawal is given by A1 equals A0 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800, and A0 is equal to 60,000. So A1 equals 60,000 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800, which equals 59,500. Now A2, which is the amount of money in the account immediately after the second withdrawal, is given by 59,500, so that's A1, multiplied by 1.005 minus 800, and that equals $58,997.50. And A3, so the amount of money in the account immediately after the third withdrawal, is given by $58,997.50, so that's A2, multiplied by 1.005 minus 800, and that equals 58,492.4875, and rounding that amount to two decimal places, that equals $58,492.49. So therefore, the amount of money after the third withdrawal is equal to $58,492.49. Part B. Calculate the amount of interest earned in the first three months. Assuming no interest is paid, the amount of money in the account immediately after the third withdrawal is given by 60,000 minus 3 multiplied by 800, which equals $57,600. But interest was paid. And the amount of money that Tina has in her account after the third withdrawal is in fact equal to $58,492.49. So the difference between this value and $57,600, which is the amount of money in the account assuming no interest was paid, is given by $58,492.49 minus $57,600, and that equals $892.49. So that was the amount of interest Tina earned in those three months. Part C. Calculate the amount of money in the account immediately after the 94th withdrawal. The solution to this problem involves the sum to n terms of a geometric progression. Using the recurrence relation, A1 is equal to A0 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800. Now A2 is equal to A1 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800. But expressing A2 in terms of A0, by replacing A1 by A0 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800, we get A2 is equal to A0 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800. So this expression in brackets is equivalent to A1, and that's multiplied by 1.005, and then we subtract 800. Then expanding the brackets, we get A2 is equal to A0 multiplied by 1.005 squared minus 1.005 multiplied by 800 minus 800. So the geometric progression is forming here. Let's consider A3. Now A3 is equal to A2 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800. But A2 is this expression here. So A3 can be expressed in terms of A0 by taking this expression and substituting it for A2 here. So we have A3 is equal to A0 multiplied by 1.005 squared minus 1.005 multiplied by 800 minus 800, all in brackets, multiplied by 1.005 minus 800. And expanding the brackets, so by multiplying all the terms inside the bracket by 1.005, we get A3 is equal to A0 multiplied by 1.005 cubed minus 800 multiplied by 1.005 squared minus 800 multiplied by 1.005 minus 800. So we can clearly see a geometric progression here. And factorizing negative 800 out of these terms here, we get A3 is equal to A0 multiplied by 1.005 cubed minus 800 outside of 
1 plus 1.005 plus 1.005 squared. So that is a geometric progression where the first term is 1 and the common ratio is 1.005. So generalizing this, we get AN is equal to A0 multiplied by 1.005 to the power of N minus 800 outside of 1 minus 1.005 n over 1 minus 1.005. So that's the sum to n terms of the geometric progression. So A94 is equal to 60,000 multiplied by 1.005 to the power of 94 minus 800 outside of 1 minus 1.005 to the power of 94 all over 1 minus 1.005 and that equals 187.8459 and rounding that to two decimal places that equals $187.85.